Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from The Rat Collectors. And today I was perusing through Twitter and I came across a post by Sega Whisperer. He posted a question that was really mind blowing and I was actually really intrigued to try to dissect what I would do with this. He posted, if you inherited $40 billion, what would you do to bring Sega back to the console market? And I really thought about this and I wrote down a list as to what I would include as far as games go, features, the name, and we're gonna go through it in this video right now. Sega's innovation through the years have seen many ups and downs, mainly because of the undecided nature between three branches of Sega. Each felt that their audience needed an edge against the competition in their own regions. Well, today, I would like to announce... Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? I've just been handed an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. A region-free software. So with any great console, you need launch titles. So with those launch titles, I thought long and hard as to which games I would include into the Dreamcast 2.0, or as I like to call it, the Sega DC. So the games go as follows. Shenmue 4, with a prologue telling you the story so far. Sonic Adventure 3, because we need another Sonic Adventure. Power Stone 3, which includes Power Stone 1 and 2. Skies of Arcadia, with the upgraded graphics that we got from Resident Evil. The House of the Dead collection, which does include light gun support. It wouldn't just end with light guns. Games that require peripherals will be bundled in with the said game, similar to the way Nintendo makes them. Soul Calibur 7, with six mainline entries of the Soul Calibur series, a follow-up would fit perfectly. Any new console needs an open world game, and that's gonna be Jet Grind Radio World. Jet Set Radio World, would allow a player to be able to hop in and out of their skates and possibly venture indoors, take public transit, and receive the Grand Theft Auto treatment. And then with any new console, you're gonna need sports games. So I'm looking at a new NFL licensed game and a new NHL licensed game, because fuck EA. The features I like to see are online capability, Blu-ray functionality, light gun capability, not just for House of the Dead, but for any other game that would like to be ported over to my fictitious system. Backwards compatibility with all past Dreamcast games with an upgraded graphics like the Xbox did with the Xbox Series X and the original Xbox graphics boost. A second analog stick. Please, if this were to ever happen, if I ever inherited $40 billion, a second analog stick is most definitely needed. And of course, VMU support. The console will come with a hard drive already built in, but a VMU support that allows you to still take games on the go a la PSP with lithium ion batteries that can allow you to charge it just by plugging it into the system. These are just the little features that I would like to see on the Sega Dreamcast or Sega DC. Let me know in the comments down below which games, which features, which name would you give the Dreamcast to? Please like, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys.